Francis. I am so happy to be with you today on the water. We get all the benefits of the beach without the inconveniences. <laughs> As you know, I don't like sand. It's rough, it's coarse, irritating, and it gets everywhere. Not like here. <laughs> Eight years ago, when we started dating, I would never have considered opening my actual vows at my actual wedding with a reference to Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. <laughs> but I'm not the same person I was eight years ago, thanks to you. You are always willing to be goofy and weird. In fact, you often revel in it. I don't think I will ever match your energy or your volume. But being with you reminds me to loosen up and find the joy in being weird. You are so incredibly generous with the best parts of yourself. You give so much to your work, to your students, to your community, to friends, and to family. I have always admired that about you. Your ability to connect, to listen, and to respond with thought and care is rare and valuable. I knew that you were special from the moment we met, and I have always known that, and I will always know that. I honestly believe that there is no one else like you in the entire world, and I feel lucky every day to be with you. Can I, can I turn, okay. You can, open can I open my eyes? eyes? Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> he looks so great. Wow. <laughs> I would be foolish to think that I could accurately put into words how much adoration and affection I have for you, but I will nonetheless try. A common refrain I have shared with people asking about our wedding is that I will be getting married just two days before I turn 30. <laughs> While staring into the specter of aging into my 30s, that has also made me realize that these past eight years mean that we have spent almost the entirety of our 20s together. And for that, I have so much gratitude. I feel so fortunate that we were able to share this phase of our youth together. People often say that in your 20s, it's a time in your life where, in which you find yourself. And I am lucky to have found myself on this journey with you. No matter the turmoil or the triumph, you have always been my constant compass navigating me towards growing into the best person I can be. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, through helping, supporting, and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, by learning to make the important things matter, and by letting go of them. What this ceremony can do is affirm the love that you have for one another in the presence of your friends and family. My honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and leave each state of the fullest. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. Francis Land and Marie Hagenbotham. Marie may not be a match for Francis' volume. <laughs> she is certainly a match in her kindness and good nature. To Marie and Francis, may you ever be happy and healthy. 
joyful, and successful. Who do you love most?